Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain example of inverse Laplace transform. And for that, question is determine the signal x of t for which the Laplace transform x of s is given by x of s is equals to s plus 1 divided by square plus 3s plus 2. Now, if you observe four options are there and all four options that is having e to the power 2t ut e to the power minus 2t ut e to the power 2t and e to the power minus 2t that is given. So, here we we have this question in that we don't need to go for partial fraction expansion as only one term is there. So, definitely there has to have something which will be resolving this. So, let us try to resolve this x of s first and then we will calculate what is our final answer. So, x of s that is given to us s plus 1 divided by s square plus 3s plus 2. Now, if you observe here 3 that is having 2 parts 2 into 1 means 2 plus 1. So, ultimately if you separate this then you will be getting this has to be s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 s plus 2. So, s plus 1 will get cancelled. So, this is actually 1 by s plus 2. Now, see if you take inverse Laplace transform then you will be getting x of t. So, inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 2 that is e to the power minus 2t ut. Now if you observe options then this is what our correct option right. But here you will be finding in option d it is written e to the power minus 2t only. Now why should we don't write this answer. So if you observe the waveform if you observe the waveform of e to the power minus 2t then it is what like this right now here time t is equals to 0 is there now see this is what actually going towards infinity as you go towards minus infinite time so this magnitude will go towards infinity so, if you don't choose u of t here, in that case, it will, it will violate the condition of Dirichlet. So, it is compulsory to multiply u of t with e to the power minus 2t when you do inverse Laplace transform of this. So, this is what we need to keep in our mind. One thing is u of t should get multiplied and that is because of Dirichlet's condition. So, I have already explained existence of Laplace transform initially. So, there are three Dirichlet conditions that I have explained. So, if this amplitude is going towards infinity, it will violate Dirichlet's condition which will not allow us to have Laplace convergence, right. So, u of t should get multiplied and this is our correct answer. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video.